Hey family, welcome back to another video with your girl Saint Seraphim. Over here, we we'll do everything with truth and love, and that's on spirit. Period. If you're new here, welcome to the sanctuary. If you're not, welcome back to Stars, Saints, Bro Stars, and Shadows. If you're interested in any of my product services, courses, archives, lectures, my Patreon, or any of my other socials, click that link down below in the description box, and it'll take you to where it is you're trying to go. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can totally like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and support the other content on the channel. Super chat. Or utilize any of those donation links that are down below, including my Amazon wishlist link. Um, the last reading was so good, but it I had to end it because I got a phone call from the post office. So, right the other day, I told y'all the story about how, like, basically, my package got stolen. My bed frame got stolen. And I actually was laying in bed today thinking about that, like, people will really try to stop you from elevating. Like, the, and not even just people, but the powers that be, babes, will literally, like, do whatever they gotta do to try to stop you from elevating, but, like, everything gonna get, everything gonna get done. It's gonna get figured out, and it's gonna turn out more in your favor than, like, you think, because where something goes wrong, the universe will make sure something else go right as fuck to, like, bitch, the, the, the 50th power, like, the millionth power. And so they were calling me to let me know that they like settled my claim as a theft, basically. Um, uh, well, they settled my case as a theft. And so I can make a claim um, and yeah, figure out what I want to do from there. But I'm definitely going to make a claim. I never had to do no shit like this before, but I'm doing it this time. I'm going all the way through because fuck that. I want my shit. But it made me think about there's another reading. Something something really good is about to come from something that was literally, like, withheld from you. Something low-key simple. It's like making a wish and a simple wish being withheld from you. And because of how much energy was used, like, you gotta do all this random extra unnecessary shit to get your shit. Like, get whatever it is that was being held from you. Or you just never end up getting it at all. But because of that, the universe ends up working something else out to where, like, you get more. Something was rejected, so you get something better. Rejection is your protection. You're getting something better. Mm. Knight of Wands fast energy impulsive energy but fast but if it's something that the universe is deploying that's an interesting word to have been used if the universe is deploying something this in in this much of a haste it's it, as far as the universe is concerned it's an emergency it's a fucking emergency four of swords it's an emergency. You you need something right now. The devil. You need something right now. Quick. This is like a job season. This is like some job shit. Like damn near you had probably probably everything you were riding on taken away from you. Or everything like a lot was promised, but nothing was delivered given or retained and so whatever you needed to get through the journey you didn't have or whatever you thought you needed to get through the journey you didn't have you got through the journey without it but the whole point whether you had it or not was to get through the journey it wasn't about the thing it was about the journey and you didn't take the easy way out neither Seven of Cups. You didn't take the easy way out. There's a, There was a lot of distortion here. This is like that review. It's like the divine is reviewing your case. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, the Tower, Justice. And immediately finds a solution for you. The post office is closed, closed. Which means they're really on my, my, my shit. I, put, I called the post office the day of they called me back the next day to update me. And then today, they just called me with the final, like, what the, the final determination, basically. 
So that's three days. This is like a fucking miracle. You don't know this though. You don't know how fast this is gonna happen. Or you don't understand how fast the universe is like put it's like putting in an order. But like fast tracking it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm hearing last year I was broke. I ain't going back to shit. This my first year being rich. Five of Swords was in reverse. Niggas give me dap, and these hoes gonna show me love. I remember what it was. Knight of Cups, what it was. This is my first year being rich. This is my first year being rich. First year being rich by ASMR. You were not defeated. The tower came down so you could get justice because you being defeated by the devil is no. 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 That energy can't win. They don't win. They can't win. It's not going to win. They're not going to win. That's not going to happen. Whatever this is probably stressed you out a little bit too. Not going to cap. Because the nine, knight of swords, is, nine of swords is here before the tower. Like, spirit is doing something. And I, I don't want to say they're doing something to somebody on your behalf. But, like, somebody is doing the most. And spirit is like, yeah, bitch, you're getting out. You're, this is getting out of hand. Absolutely fucking not. No. No. What's the intention here? And I want you to, like, be so specific. Thank you. You didn't even seek revenge. Somebody did something to you. You didn't seek revenge, but they were still doing shit to you, even though it's like they, they, they're they hitting you. They're beating. They're literally trying to tear you up. And it's like, it's like. They're not, it's not hurting you. Like, and you know that episode of SpongeBob was he, where he was getting hit with the, 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 um, the dude was like, I'm going to beat you up after school. He was scared of <laughs> And, like, he couldn't avoid it, but the fight came. And he realized, I'm a sponge. This shit ain't going to hurt. But whatever. Whatever this is, it, it, it didn't hurt you. It might have, it might have put more on you than you were intended to bear but you bared it and you still didn't seek revenge that would have been the defeat revenge whoever this is sought revenge on you for you not doing whatever they wanted you to do um i'm looking to damage you in retaliation for perceived wrongs yeah somebody tried to call justice on you the universe came to call justice on that <laughs> entertainment i find your life amusing and your story's comical somebody thought you was a fucking circus act and they were gonna whip you like a motherfucking lion in the circus to make you do i see why this i see why this is happening because like i said they did too much they did absolutely too fucking much bitch get your life secret this person secretly like invoked revenge there is something huge i'm dying to share with you the universe want to tell you this it's oh this is like you're about to find out all of the fucking tea like everything that you really went through but like what the actual intentions was and only you know what you actually experienced Somebody intentions could have been to like literally make you go crazy. And maybe, yes, it, you spiraled a little bit. But you reconnected to something very divine. Otherwise, why would the fuck justice be here? It would just be a tower. It wouldn't be no justice after that. Whether you were going to seek revenge or not, you would be you would just be defeated. No. You made it to wherever the fuck you was trying to go. You made it to, like, 
the home not home base but like you know how when you playing like manhunt even if they find you if you make it to like your base like the safe where you're safe if you make it to a safe spot before they can get you you're good you've made it there Yeah, and there's something waiting for you there. It's like, it, it kind of gives me Legend of the Hidden Temple vibes. For the 90s babies, I know y'all used to watch that. The game show, like the kids game shows. Oh, what a time. What a fucking time. Oh, I can't remember what that one show was, but like, you had to go through the obstacle courses. But it was like, it was just mad unnecessary shit going on. Like, it would be like, uh, what is it, goo? Like, you have to, they would have to do the most random shit. And, like, it would be timed. And, like, whoever got through it the fastest obviously would win. I can't remember what the fuck that shit was called. But it's given that. It's given, like, difficult. It's given, like, chaos. Yelling. Check in. Somebody tried to check you into hell, babes. This, perhaps the intention was for whatever this is to send you to an asylum. Like, unfriendly. I have a hostile attitude. This is supposed to make you an angry-ass person. Like, whatever this is supposed to, like, basically make you have the same fate as Medusa. But you chose what Medusa didn't. You chose to align with the divine instead of taking, getting your hands dirty and taking action like taking putting taking things into your own hands you you literally let those who whose job it was to figure this shit out you let them do their fucking job and if that was solely the divine you let the divine do what the divine needed to do even if it meant you having to suffer through this process for somebody else's fucking entertainment Spirit did that so they whoever it was would be distracted. So they wouldn't be paying attention to the fact that shit can happen like this overnight. And they would be so fucking vulnerable and uncomfortable and not knowing what the fuck was going on to even try to stop it. No, but it's just this bitch. You can't stop it neither, neither way. This person had a diabolical plan. I mean, diabolical. I don't want to play you. Listen to VHS, VCR, sorry, by Tyler. Eight of Swords. If you listen to that song, it's crazy because Tyler used to make a lot of songs like that. Like talking about um, April and Illing K and like dismemberment and all of these things in a considerable amount of his songs it's like this is what somebody want if if they didn't want you to experience it they wanted to embed the memories of that experience in your mind this is some deep shit because this is like this is serious energy this is cancerian energy this is some like even this is manipulating like damn near your akashic records This is some shit that would take you so far out of alignment. Like, you will literally get lost in your own fucking mind. L getting lost in memories that literally don't even exist never fucking happen. Never happen. This is like taking drugs and never being the same afterwards again. And I know what that shit is like, low-key. I've been, I had somebody laced me before. I've had that shit happen with, to me before. Yeah, it wasn't cool. But I thank the universe every day that I still have my mental. I've had somebody try to poison me in my face, like literally try to give me something that I'm literally allergic to. The one thing that I'm allergic to that's random as hell. Like, there's no way you unintentionally gave me that. Like, what? You're insane if you think I'm that stupid. But that, that person, they was on a whole lot of other shit. Like, the type of shit they was into, it was just like, uh-uh, bitch, I'm getting away from you. Mm-mm. This person wanted to, nine of swords twice. This person either wanted to, with the empress, either put this on you. I'm telling you, they intended, whatever this is, 
It was more than you were intended to bear. This is somebody who was, like, trying to, like, push you to the limit. The real limit. I'm here to seek and destroy by scissor. You pushed me past my own capacity, boy. Permission to crash. Collecting damages. No reaching, no grabbing for more clarity now. Seek and fucking destroy. All missiles deployed. Do it to you. I hate to do it to you. Do it to you. I had to do it to you. Do it to you. Do what I gotta do. I can't stand it. The urge is so demanding. The purge so necessary. The art of war. God damn it. I'm drained. But now that I've ruined everything, I cannot complain. Now that I've ruined everything. What you say? Now that I've ruined everything, I cannot complain. Now that I've ruined everything, I'm so fucking free. Now that I've ruined everything, keep it all for me. Now that I've ruined everything, space is all I need. like somebody putting you in a game they're a little game that they want to play not only do you fucking you send the game into a glitch a glitch you burn that bitch down to the ground can't nobody play that game again no you made it unplayable they tried to make it unwinnable so you made it unplayable The Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and you you took Rebel from that game and built your own. Whoever this is, they got to play your game now. They have to play your game now. That's that's justice. That's fair. That's only fair. They have to play your game now, and that, that's being authorized by the Divine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is not, oh, I want what happened to them. I want what they tried to, like, make happen to me, happen to them. No. While what was happening to me was happening to me, I created something of my own. I would love for them to experience it. It's something I, I've had a good time experiencing. I wonder how they would how they would feel experiencing it. That's what the fuck they're about to experience. That's the divine's way of seeking revenge. The divine or this person can't handle that shit. Oh, it, it, oh, fucking well, though. Oh, well. It's not about you not having empathy or being considerate. No, this is divine being petty and, and sick in the way that it can be. The hermit. Oh, yeah. They don't know this play. They don't know this arena. They don't know. They don't know this game. They're, they're completely in the dark. They got to learn to see in the dark. In your mind, this is like somebody trying to play in your head. Now they're in a part of your head that they was unaware of. And only you have access to. Chasing fat ass and fake connections. Chasing facades in all directions. Begging my angels for protection. King of Wands. Danger arise and I deflect it. Do dick arise and I erect it. Begging my angels for protection. Thanking my stars living reckless. Oh. Five of Pentacles. This person about to be tricked into this. Not by you, by the divine emperor. That's crazy. The moon. That confirms all of these cards. Queen of Wands. The Hierophant. Temperance. Nine of Cups. Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. This is wish fulfillment. They have to play your game. Spirit is whoever these. I'm about to clear this up, but we about to keep going. Whoever this is, whoever this devil is, this is their ultimatum. That's the tower, an ultimatum. And justice is them being just as confused about what's happening, just as confused as you were about what was happening to you. Can they figure it out? Can they solve this? Can they solve the riddle? It's like an escape room. And if you were able to make their... If you were able to undo whatever the fuck they did... I don't think... 
I don't think they would have got out of their own shit. So trying to get out of yours is going to be real interesting. Trying to escape is going to be real interesting for them. Whoever this is, they don't think as deep as you do. This is somebody who, like, thinks that they're sick and dark and twisted. And they think that you don't have the capability because you don't um, take action that reflects that. But it's because you've accepted that part of yourself, bro. What do you think got you through that crazy shit that they set up? The darkest parts of you revealed to you that's sh- whatever this person was doing ain't shit to be scared of you're 30 times fucking scarier bro but they're about to experience that shit and it's it's gonna look totally different than what they expect this reminds me of the land of poppies if you want access to the land of poppies get the archive there's a playlist it used to be public but it's not no more so if you want access to that whole playlist go ahead and um Get Ryan's Digital Oracle Archives. It's only $100. Judgment. Because there's rules to that game. I've done a bunch of different um, series, which are actually portals. Um, Psychoanalytic portals to help you, to either entertain you or help bring you healing. Whatever healing you feel you need. Right, and that's one of the portals. But the land of poppies is the ooh, the land of poppies is the only one that has rules. It's the only one that's a full game. I made a game board for it and everything, which is crazy. I just never put it out. Um, because there's like a mini game called the Money Mancer inside of the land of poppies, but you have to find it. You just have to find it. You have to stumble upon it. <laughs> You got to stumble upon that door if you want to enter the land of abundance. Mm -hmm. But if you're interested and you're confused, just hit me on Instagram. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have created a world. This I'm telling you, this is judgment. You get to go to this world and find peace and relax and just... It's like paradise. That's the word for for October 27th, paradise. So I don't know, this could be happening within the next few days. Because the word for today is fantasy, the word for tomorrow is goddess, and then the word for the 27th is paradise. The 28th is hallucination, 29 is divine, 30 is observed, and then 31 is flowy. Flowy, sorry, flowy, flowy. <laughs> There's only a week left in the month, literally seven days. Including today. Something's going to change in the next two days. Today is the first third quarter moon. If you know, you know. Something's about to change. Eight of Swords. This is about to send them. This is about to send somebody else into a fucking spiral. They're going to be running for fucking help. Screaming for it. Yelling for it. Because they're going to be in distress. They're going to be in fucking distress. But nobody's going to hear them. Ten of Swords. I can't make this shit up. They're going to be in distress and nobody's going to be able to, like, see it. Because it's all happening in their reality. It's not happening to where anybody else can see. Because that's what was happening to you. It was shit happening in your reality that was hard as fuck to explain to anybody. And with the intention of it making you sound, look, or believe that you're fucking crazy. All right. Cool. Nine of Wands. Cool. But you're not the wounded win the the wounded healer. I mean the wounded warrior. No. You're not wounded. You're healed. Mm-hmm. The healing journey never ends, but from whatever this is, yeah, you've healed. Fully. You've had a full recovery. A full recovery. And something about this process has made you different. Mentally. So if you were already a little... Unhinged. Yeah, you're about to be reckless now. But in a way that is so... Calculated. But not with the intention of harming anyone. 
Bro, it take a lot of effort to do something with the intention of helping someone, but if they're not aligned with their own healing, it'll end up. It could harm them significantly. But it, but with no harm to you because your intention is to heal, not to harm. So at that point, that's self harm. That don't got nothing to do with you. You're going to be there to see it. Like, it's like you're going to see exactly what this person's going through, but they won't be able to explain it to nobody else. And they're not going to know that you know. Because that's the point for them to not know. Eight of Pentacles. Can they work through it, though? That's the question here. Can they work through it? Can they do what you did? Having more on you than you can bear. Can they do what you did? Can they heal? Ace of Swords. Can they find the truth? Can they manifest with it? Do they even want to look for it? The truth is hidden in the deep, the dark. Some people find the truth, but they deny it. Some of us find the truth and we reveal it. Not just to ourselves, but to everybody. Six of Pentacles. It has to be released. People be afraid of living in their truth, speaking their truth, because then that means they have to release it. They can't hold on to it in this nine of wands as the wounded warrior. No, babes, you got to heal. Unless you're going to keep opening them wounds on your own and then trying to blame it on somebody else. But that's nobody else's fault. You can heal. Mm -hmm. The devil with the ten of swords. It's almost like... This is like somebody trying to play the devil against you. Well, oh, the devil ends up playing them for you. So you don't have to do, worry about doing it. The devil's like, oh, I got it. Don't even worry about it. That's cool. I'll take care of it. The hermit. Uh -huh. It's about to get real dark. It's about to get very dark. Like, it's about to get dark. Can they shine? Six of Wands. Can they get a victory? Can they find the truth? Can they make it through the darkness to find the truth? And do are they brave enough to bring that truth to light? The real question here is not can they overcome you? Can they overcome themselves? Four of Wands. Can they pattern your trend? And if you pattern my trend, can make you my protege. It's lost in that soldier race. Niggas don't know them days. Take you a back of the building. Make you explode your rage. I mean, make you expose your rage. Take you across the tracks. Make you explode a face. Now you official now. But you got a soul to save. Can they save their own soul? Or will they sell it? I just been cooking that new. I'm about to drop in a few. You think if I call it the great, the people gonna call it the truth? I ain't really trip on the credit. I just paid all of my dues. Page of ones. I just respected the game. Now my name all in the news. You spoke on whatever it is that you was fucking going through. You was not ashamed. You you weren't you didn't get so ashamed that you became embarrassed by your own life. No, you shared it. You shared the wounds. But you also shared the work. You did the work. Uh, this I think this person is, or these people, whoever the fuck this is, this is like, it's, it's crazy. I spoke on this earlier, but not a source. This is going to be damn near terrifying for them. and it's, But it's going to completely change your life. King of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever they were supposed to earn from this, you're going to earn. Is this your king? Oh, I used to do readings all the time and I used to come up. Is this your king? Because when I take his crown and I'm sitting on his throne, I'm your king now. Is this your king though? I want you to answer that before I sit here and watch you watch what happens to your king. Mm. Is this your king?
Because if it's your king, you can go through it with him. But if it ain't your king, well, your king knows you don't really fuck with him. But the question to, to, to anybody on the fence, is this your king? The lovers came out in the pre-shuffle. Choice. Is this your king? The next choice. Oh, like some people still have a chance. But what happens next is riding on a choice. One choice. And it's not about what you do. Because you're getting the I Watch all the readings that I did today. What you're getting is what's owed to you. What they're getting is a test. One that lasts years. Mm -hmm. Spiritual, mental trials for any and all spiritual or akashic crimes committed uh i would say good luck but it won't do them any justice <laughs> i wish they find fortune and i wish they find clarity in their time of confusion because that's exactly what the fuck they about to be confused as fuck yeah, now it's their turn. You finished your work. Now it's their turn. And so it is because of this whole family. Ashay.